I bet you didn't know you could do this with a Sharpie. Watch. I'm going to take it and draw across on this dollar bill, just like this. Watch what happens if I add some heat to the cross. You can do all this and so much more with this Super Sharpie. Here on the beach, my fingers in the sand and the water at my feet. Can I just get some release? Yeah, everybody falls off the tippy of they tall talk. Don't come and talk to me. I ain't trying to see fear reflections in my rear view, defectors in my purview. Coming after me, got some issues with my love. You are ironing out the kinks. I ain't trying to be king. Crowns ain't the way to bring love. Soft touch, hard hands lead the backwards endeavors. These mans really think they worth can be some dub in a measure. Sing him, I'm better, I'm better, I'm better, I'm better. I get it, you gotta hold your shit up to a mesh Did that, in there, done now Out and on the run now, but you just can't get away Driving in the dead night, kind of highway signs by headlight Cranking up the Mac to Marco, and treating it like medicine Hello you beautiful people, welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday <laughs> Welcome back to all my subscribers and hello to all the new subscribers out there. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button before we go any further. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make this super sharpie, which is a weapon that you can carry on you at all times that allows you to do ultra visual magic with total ease. Now, word of warning, it's going to get messy. So do this in a clean, safe environment, unlike me, who has now ruined the sofa. But it's very easy to do, it's gonna take you five minutes, and once you're set up, you can make a million of these on the go. If you would like to win my very own personal Super Sharpie, then all you need to do is make sure you subscribe to the channel and share this video link on social media. Tag me in the post so that I can see that you've shared it, otherwise I won't know who you are, and I will choose a, a winner? I will choose a winner at random in next Tutorial Tuesday. So now let me teach you how to make your Super Sharpie, and also I'll teach you how to use it in some cool ways. Whoa, how daunting does this look? Don't worry, you don't need hardly any of this stuff, but I'm just going to show you some cool things. So, this works using friction ink, as you can see, but it's not the friction pens that most magicians, which mostly all of you are custom and familiar with, because the problem with these friction pens is that they have these tiny nibs, which when you write, does not look like Sharpie at all. So let me just show you. Uh, hello. This one's running out, but you can see this doesn't look like as you see, this does not look like Sharpie and it'll vanish, which is pretty cool. What you need to get yourself is a friction marker, and there'll be a link appearing on screen in a little sticky tab thing somewhere. Beep, 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 here yeah, for you to purchase one, um, or in the link in the description below. Okay, now, I've broken mine. I only have one, so it's broken because I took it apart. But you can see on camera, but what you can see is that this is a friction marker. They're made by Pilot Pens. And this is a marker pen made from friction, which is super deceptive and not many people know about these. So what I've done is taken it apart. Now I broke this one and I've actually only got one and I made my Super Sharpie. And you can see my Super Sharpie, for all intents and purposes, it looks like a Sharpie. It writes kind of like a Sharpie and it looks pretty good. Now this is the nib from the marker pen. For me, when I'm using it, no one's going to tell the difference because I'm, you know, they're not focusing on the nib of the pen. But I'm confident to give this to a spectator too because it really doesn't look that different. It's just a little tiny bit smaller than normal. So that's how my Super Sharpie looks. Let me show you how to make it. So you're going to do the same thing twice. Essentially, I broke my 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 friction marker, but you're going to do the same thing with a Sharpie pen as well. Now, you don't need to use pliers. I'm doing it to not get ink on my white t-shirt, but you can just use your hands and just sort of jimmy this open. And I'll sort of show you what you can do. You can literally take a Sharpie and if you, with a lid on it, you can pop it open like that. And then what you're going to do is strip out the ink. You're going to take out this bit and what you can use the um, pliers for is to grip hold of the nib itself and pull it out okay 
So then you'll take all of the internals basically of the Sharpie out into, into separate pieces, including the ink cartridge. And then you're going to do the same thing with the friction marker. And you're going to take it all about all apart basically and place it into the Sharpie. What you'll see is that with the friction marker, and I've, I've, mine's just flicked away, in the nib of the friction marker, there'll be a little white piece of plastic. And what you need to do is, is use the pliers is to take that piece of plastic off the nib and then just feed it into the cartridge itself and place it all back together. But, but it's really simple. As you've seen then, you can just pop it open, take it all apart, and then just put the ink and the nib, the nib from the marker, into the Super Sharpie, and you're good to go. Now that you have your Super Sharpie, I'm going to show you how cool it looks. So this is how it writes on paper. It looks pretty good, right? It's not as thick as a normal Sharpie, but that's okay because you're only it's only going to be in existence for a moment. You can see comparatively how a sort of Sharpie writes, but because it's only in view for a short while before it vanishes, then then no one notices the difference. And just to show you with a lighter, what I tend to do is light the flame. Now, the further away from the flame you hold it, the less burn marks you'll get on your paper. Okay, so I'm going to do this up close because there's a camera here. But what you need to do is be careful. Watch your fingers. Don't hold your fingers under the flame when you light it like this. It just visually vanishes. That simple. Now, there's certain surfaces work better than others. For example, playing cards work well if you're going to just draw a simple cross on them or a simple mark. So if you draw a small mark, it looks good. If I, however, draw because of the type of ink, if I draw like my signature, it doesn't come out as well. So it's like it's like these short, sharp bursts of ink are what, are what tend to work best. You'll also notice that I can actually rub this ink off with my finger because it doesn't it doesn't stick like Sharpie. It's not permanent. It's one of the features of this friction ink. And again, same thing to make it vanish. You take a flame and you just apply heat quickly under the areas of the ink that you want to vanish and it'll be gone. What you'll find is that certain surfaces work a lot better to draw on. For example, dollar bills work very well or paper money because this paper and cotton sort of makes this stuff and that absorbs the ink nicely to make it look thicker so that makes a nice sort of cross there like that so paper works really well however trying to draw on plastic or anything that has sort of like a, a glossy finish will be terrible for this you can get away with doing it on bicycle boxes i will say so again but it doesn't look absolutely perfect, but it will it will just about do the job. This is how to do some basic switches. I'm gonna use a red Sharpie so you can see the difference, but watch. Let's assume that you're gonna bring the Super Sharpie into play in a moment. The best way of using this is not to try and be complicated and do like sleeving or difficult techniques. It's just to be natural and casual and almost act like you made a small mistake and I'll show you how, how I mean. Let's say a card selected and you have the spectator use the regular Sharpie to write anything on it like that, okay? What you'll do is you'll say, cap the Sharpie, please, and you'll place it in your pocket right next to your Super Sharpie, okay? Knowing which side of your pocket it's on. And then all you do is, is you like you, you act casual like you made a mistake or an afterthought. You just go, oh, actually, um, I want to do one more thing. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me make another mark on this card. And you just reach in and pull out the Sharpie. It's the world's easiest switch. It actually, it's like a slow motion switch. It takes about 10 seconds to happen because you're just like an afterthought, but there's no need to get technical and try and do difficult stuff. If As long as the Sharpies have got the same matching lids, they won't think that there's anything special going on because if you're not going to make it, you're not going to start off by saying, take this Sharpie and make sure that it's not tricked in any way because you give, you've already given the game away because now they know that trick Sharpies can exist. And that's it. So that's all you need to do, put it in your pocket and then as an afterthought, bring it back out. Now, one thing I'll say is, is mark the Super Sharpie in a way that lets people know, so it lets you secretly know that it's that it's the Super Sharpie. And what I've done is I've literally put a little black dot right at the end of the Sharpie. So just at a glance, even in my pocket, because they, they're going to be like that in my pocket, I can see which one's the Super Sharpie and which one's not. No one's ever going to notice. doesn't even matter if they do because it's just ink on a Sharpie. And in that little divot there, it's hard to wipe it off because it's sunken into the Sharpie itself. 
So here's a very, very basic routine that anybody can do with very, very little skill that's super powerful. And I'll keep put the Sharpies in view here with different lids so you can see which one's which. This is the Super Sharpie and this is the routine. Before you begin, draw a permanent cross on the back of a card like that and take that card and place it second from top. So now what you're going to do is get a break underneath two cards with your pinky. And now you're going to turn this card over as a double like this. And using a regular Sharpie, you're going to have them sign their name on the face. But what they're secretly doing is they're signing their name on the face of the card with the cross. La, 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 la. Now you're going to have them cap the pen. Like so. And you're going to take it and put it straight into your pocket next to your Super Sharpie. Now you can do two things here. You can either use the KM move and put this in their hand face up, or you can do it face down with it sandwich in their hand, and I'll show you how both things look. The KM move is this. With my pinky under the two cards still, I'm going to take the double, so I reach under both cards, I'm going to ask them to hold their hand out, and as they do, I'm going to pull the deck like, like a book, and secretly I'm going to steal this card off. Right, it's called KM move, and it looks like this. And now I've brought that X secretly into play. So it's speed, I'd say, uh, could you go ahead and hold your hand out for me, please, so I can place the card in your hand. And I've now brought that X in. The other way of doing it is knowing which side of the card the X is on. So, look, we need the card, the X over this side. We can take the card, KM move again, but make sure that my fingers are going to cover this cross. So, like I say, hold your hands out for me, like this and hold your card. And I'm just gonna literally turn it over like that. Now what I do is have them place their hand on top to cover the cross. And I like doing it face down because you can now, when when, the, when you're gonna make the X vanish off a, X, off a random card, they're gonna see it, they're gonna see this image on the random card and then they, and when they lift their hand up, they'll see it immediately on their card. So it's just this, it's just this continuation of the same aesthetic image of a card with a cross and then they lift their hand and now the card's got the cross on it. Personal preference only. So either way, take the card and place it in the hand. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to place it in my pocket just for now. So you guys, that'll be the spectator's pocket. And now what I do, I say, watch, I'm going to show you one more thing. I'm going to take the Sharpie and I'm going to draw a cross on this card. Now this is the Super Sharpie. So I just try to match the cross as best as I can to the one on their card. And now, it may not be exact, it may not be identical, it may not be as thick, but this is what's going to happen. You're going to take it, take the lid of the Sharpie, put it back on. They think this is the same Sharpie, so they just assume that it's it's permanent ink, and it's going to end permanent ink on their card. Right, so remember that. And let's say, what I'm going to do, it doesn't matter what this card is, but what we are going to do is, is you're going to light it. So, you hand them the lighter. I don't even show it. There's no need to show it. You can do a whole two card transfer routine, but you don't need to. Say, watch this, watch this random card. Watch the X. Have them light the lighter so they feel like they're part of the effect. And I just push over the card and have that X vanish. Boom. It's now gone. That's it. You're completely clean. Now you say, look, the, the, the X has vanished, but it doesn't jump from here. Open up your hands. And they're going to do this. They're going to do this. And you're going to see the moment they see that X on their card that's just transposed. And you have a freaking miracle, super easy to perform, super visual, and super duper 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 practical. Now, other things you can do, like as in the trailer, you could have a cross in the middle of the card, place that card on the bottom, do like a Hindu force where they look at this card and then sign it on the face and lose it into the deck, place that into the box into the box. Now all you need to do is draw a cross on the box, light it so they see it visually vanishes, and you say that cross is going to sink through and find your card in the deck just like this. And then you go through and find the card that has the cross on it. As we know, it works really well on bills and other things like that. So you can put crosses on bills, you can borrow a bill with a pre-marked cross on it or place it behind a certain area. So it's like behind here. Draw the cross at the front, have them draw it, vanish it, and then drag it back. There's a million different things. You can just get super creative with this. Now, be careful, but this is a fun one that you can do. You can take the Super Sharpie and draw, for example, cross on the box, just like this. And now, being as careful as you can, take a piece of flash paper 
and place it over the ink. Now again, be super careful. But when you light that flash paper, it'll cause the ink to vanish too. <laughs> pen. The pen is mightier than the sword. <laughs> and what I mean by that is this. Most magicians, not all, but most magicians know what friction ink is. Some don't. Hardly any layman know what friction ink is. And the ones that do know that you, you can just erase it with the top of the pen. They don't really know how it works. Not Hardly any know that if you use fire, it visually vanishes and you can do all sorts of cool stuff with it. Now, hardly any magicians know that you can get friction markers. They all think you can get the friction rollerball pens, but not markers. So, you think about this demographic that's shrinking. Not many laymen know about friction, and when they do, they know about the friction pens with ink, and they know they can erase it. Not even many magicians know you can get friction markers. So now, when you hide it in a Sharpie, which everyone just thinks is a normal Sharpie, you really are going to roundhouse kick them to the head with this thing. Now, I will say, I'm using this for camera but use it sparingly and use it in the right settings. People may think that it's magic ink, magic vanishing ink, because that's sort of like an idiom that's out there. It's a thing that exists, it's a turn of phrase that is just out there in the ether. So use it sparingly, use it at the right times, but use it with convincer. So if you're gonna make something vanish, make it reappear. So for example, when you make a, an X vanish off a card or off a bill, have it reappear somewhere to give it that feeling that it's transferred. Now, when they try to light their X that's that's ending up on something else, they'll see that it's not vanishing ink, and they'll, but they won't connect the dots because we've got to use magic. We are magicians. We're going to be convincing them that that's the same X that's transferred over. So when you use this, remember to use it in ways that convince the audience that you're not using vanishing ink. But that's it. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Come back on Thursday for another episode of Fooler. Happy Lloyd Barnes. Peace.